Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are going to turn this pile of aluminum into a bed cover for our C10. So let's get to it. Damn it. All right, so plan right now is uh, I have all this one by one eighth inch aluminum uh, square tube here and we have 16 uh, 1 16th inch, so 16 gauge, I believe is what it is, uh, aluminum sheet. And plan is to build a tunnel cover for our C10. All right, so you see what I'm currently using to keep the water out, essentially. Um, we have our cover that we keep on here. And while the little bed thing does work, uh, I do want to cover this up so it looks nice. Um, but the whole plan is build the aluminum aluminum frame and a mountain here and we'll about kind of come up about a foot and then that's where our hinge portion will come up and then the whole back of the bed will hinge and we're going to put gas shocks on it so um it'll support it once it's up and then it'll also help keep it closed because it'll cam over uh once it, you close it um so plan for the hinges is this right here half inch rod and then we're going to use bushings inside and we have these quick uh, essentially pins all right so it's got a little detent ball in it we're going to we want it for each side hopefully that will be enough um because the cover is not going to be super heavy and it's aluminum and it's not structural it's literally just a cover so these should be good if we need to take the cover off pull two pins and the whole thing comes off um and we'll just leave the upper section but i'm gonna build the upper section uh, to where we can still haul our shovel head in the back because uh, that's really the main plan for this truck is If we take it to shows, we'll take the bike with us put it in the back um, That way we just take the cover off the upper portion stays mounted to the truck And all we have to do is just quickly take the cover off at the house where we want to pull it out. So Let's get to it. Um, this is our current plan roughly uh, So you see right here. We have a foot up from the cab we're going to have a bar here, bar here, another bar here, and then our hinge will be in here, and then two more bars, and we're going to brace it. Um, might eliminate this one here and just do an X brace instead of doing the mid bar, but we'll see how long our stuff is, because originally I was not planning on doing that. I was just going to do this bar, um, which, like I said, would probably be plenty enough, but... We'll see, I like to overcomplicate shit. So, um, if anything, we might just put a bar down the middle. That way there's some support in the middle for the tubing, um, and that might suffice. Or we'll do like an X or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, let's get to cutting and get this laid out and then uh, start welding some stuff. Here's all of our pieces, so decided to do a little different. Uh, we're going to use these gussets for the corners um, instead of trying to X this thing out. Got all of our pieces here cut. So the original plan of being able to uh, keep the front end with the bike in is not going to work. So we're going to go 28 inches up 
and that's where our front header piece will be and then this will all pivot from there all right reason for that is this is 48 inches wide standard sheet so that puts it at 48 inches from the back um since this thing is 67 inches well 70 inches wide with the actual sheet metal um that we'll be able to put the sheet sideways and not have to do a bunch of butt joints so um actually won't do any butt joints on the on the sheet metal so that'll give us a nice clean top and then we'll have the back part and we'll still be able to take it off as one piece like this thing's not going to be used as a truck anymore so it's literally just our hot rod now um and if you saw the bed it's pretty swiss cheesed and rusted out anyway right now uh, we'll get to that later fixing that but this will work it makes the the lid more manageable uh since it's not so long and then uh when we go to haul the bike we'll just take it all out um so now gotta get all this set up and then we'll start tacking stuff together and then we'll test fit it in our truck All right, so that took a little while. I had to put these wings on here, which is the first time I put them on. Uh, I need to make some slugs that'll actually locate these better because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, anyway, so we got that done. Um, that side still has to square up, but all my clamps are down here. So this guy's all squared up. Uh, I'm gonna attack this one real quick and then we'll switch to that side and get this side all squared up and then we'll do the same um got this guy here i might be able to <coughs> i'm gonna try it and get this one squared up um so i can just tack them all together so let's see what we can do
All right, so it's all welded. Um, whole thing took about um, six hours. Not all welding, but like to cut everything, get it all tacked or squared up and welded together for roughly six hours. Uh, half, some of that was redesigning my plan because uh, some things, whatever. So this right down here, we had to adjust. So the bed tapers in at the end, so I had to figure out how to do this to where it would work. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the bed rails are not straight. It's got this pocket that comes in. So 72 inches to here, and then it tapers, and then it should be good here. So came out earlier to test fit it, and about cried because it didn't fit. And then I noticed that bed sides are all beat the shit so we're gonna have to massage those back into place and hopefully the truck doesn't fall apart when we do you see here it's out pretty far so but now we gotta put the skin on um and i gotta figure out clamps like i still don't know how i'm gonna clamp this thing in um that's the real big kind of puzzle right now because i don't want to fuck the truck up um granted can't really hurt it but uh, something that you know we can clamp on because at some point we are going to fix the bed and whatnot or replace it actually and then paint it all that fun stuff so I'd like for this cover to still be able to work in and it should be pretty nice so um, gotta figure out how we're going to attach the skin though if we're going to weld it or pop rivet I might pop rivet because it is pretty thin stuff and I really don't feel like blowing through it um, if I pop rivet it, then don't have to worry about it. And we can take it back off later if we need to. Um, probably am going to eventually cover this whole thing in vinyl, the top anyway, so it's not so shiny, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe put a big logo then, or just like paint black and then put our logo on it too. So, I don't know, we'll see. But, gotta fix some things. So, these, the fucking, uh, yeah, you can see we're blue in. So now I gotta take a die grinder or a drill bit and open these up back up so I can get our bushings in there. These guys. Um, gotta get these in there so we can pin it. And then once we get that in there, then we can skin it and get it on the truck. All right, so there we have it. Got our pins in. Everything lines up, pins come out. And just gotta make sure I turn these down so these rings will clear the top. And got the one over there. Do need to clearance here a little bit. Um, so when we bring it up, it hits. But it works nice and smooth so far. No binding. So pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, just gotta clear. Just gotta clearance that. I'll probably just knock the corner off each side. Just knock it off. And then that should do it. So, but now we just gotta get in the truck. So, got the frame fitted last night and ran to an issue. Uh, the bed is not the same size. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's actually three different dimensions. So, the original that we measured up here was 66 and a quarter. Our frame is 66 and an eighth, which gave us 16 for each side. Here is 66 and three eighths, so it swells a bit. And then up here is 66 inches. So um, it's tight in here. It's actually wedged in between the bed rails right now. So um, yeah, guy level trucks, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut cut this bar out. Um, shorten it a smidge and then we're going to cut the corner here or one of these around the same side. We'll cut this, uh, this will garbage anyway. Cut this, shrink it in by like an eighth of an inch. That'll give the whole thing a little, a little bit of a taper and then it should go in fine. But other than that, pretty happy with how everything fits. So um, we got, you can see our little instep here. That's, that's good. And then got plenty of clearance up here. You can see how wonky our bed is. 
So, um, still have plenty of room front to back. So front to back is good. So, we'll get this cut. I'm glad I didn't weld the tops. And then uh, get this cut and get it fit again. All right, so table's empty, which means one thing. It means our cover's done. There you go. Aluminum, all done. We'll stop in the middle there. It is actually quite heavy. Uh, we got our quick, our quick release pins in here. So if we pick it up, or pick up this side, and just pull our pins, and the whole thing comes apart. Uh, and we're gonna get this covered in vinyl. Um, mainly so we can cover this, but uh, that's gonna do it for now. Uh, you can see just how wonky our bed is. So, it is what it is. She needs some love for sure, but it'll definitely work for now. Um, and this cover should work on the bed once we replace it, hopefully. But that's gonna do it for now, so stay tuned and. Take care.